Hey everyone, a Rebel Spy here, bringing you Shadow Era commentary number 11. This is from the Titan Tournament. Uh, this is the round of 16. Um, I am playing a best of three. And, and um, um, I am in the Titan Tournament. I am playing a, a Zana Mist deck, and my opponent here is playing Dark Claw. So, uh, uh, let's go ahead and get into the game. I wanted to uh, uh, commentate this tournament game for, for you. Um, hopefully, it'll be a good game. Uh, I think I, yeah, I, I remember. It was, it was a good game. It was a good game. You'll like it. Just, 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 just relax. Um, so I get to go first. I, I play the Blake. We, Blake's good. good. Um, um, I'm playing against the Dark. Claw, and there's kind of two, two two different ways he can go with this. I'm going to pause here to talk, talk, talk a little bit about strategy. Um, there's kind of two, two ways he can go with this. He could be playing a lone Dark Claw deck with um, a bunch a little uh, uh, lone wolf, whatever the card is, it's, it's going to let him heal two per turn. And if he doesn't have an ally out, and he could be, be running um, the uh, big teeth, so that he can just attack me over and over and kind of ping damage me down, and and, and then just kind of stall and, and either hope to deck me or hope just to ping me down with with um, enough damage from his weapon. Or he could be running an ally version um, and just kind of be using Dark Claw as his hero because he likes taking that half, half damage and, and, and be using a bunch of shadow allies. And um, so I'm kind of looking for an indication of what he's going to do um, to see to see how I should respond. Because um, obviously if he's running no allies Tidal Wave is a useless card for me. Um, if he, he's running a bunch of allies and doesn't have any weapons my, my uh, Destroy Arms is a, a useless weapon. Uh, um, how I'm going to play this game is very dependent on what's in his deck. And so I, I'm, I'm looking for, for early key indicators of, of what, what I want to do. Either way, Blake and Jasmine's, you know, obviously great cards to play. So I, I do do that, that on my uh, two and three drop and just kind of, kind of start whacking away at his hero start getting the damage down I fully expect him to heal some um, but because he does have a, a card that lets him Heal for damage and remove, remove attached effects. And I see an infernal, and I go, oh, all right, that's cool. Like he's probably running some, some allies. The other, the other thing I note is that he he only has, has a um, um, thirty card 
hundred or so. Let's see, uh, twenty-two, twenty-seven, thirty-one, call. Card dark, dark claw thirty-two two card. I guess the ally to um he's running about a thirty-two card dark claw deck and and typically the the lone hero style runs quite a few more cards at least forty uh, sometimes up to fifty cards um. So since he only has 30-ish cards, um, I'm guessing it's a more fine-tuned ally deck already, even before he plays that first ally. But he does play an ally, and um, I, I don't have a license at this point, obviously, otherwise I would have played that for my 4-drop. So I go ahead and and uh, stun him with Jasmine and, and drop out a bazaar and then walk away at his dark, dark claw again. So, so um, we're both going to be kind of getting some drawing here with bazaar, obviously. It's going to help me a little more because I'm at two cards in my hand to his five. Um, um, so it'll be nice to kind of catch up, neutralize that card advantage he has from going second. Um, and and he, he plays a kind of chimera. So I know, know at this point, okay, he's he's probably running quite a few allies. I've got to dig for tidal waves, which, which hopefully shouldn't be too hard. And and, and, and or just, just uh, kill those guys. So I do... Hit the Chimera here, and, and um, I hit and kill it off with with Jasmine and Blake. And the reason why I did this, uh, um, even though my Jasmine took a hit, it is either way next. Next turn, um, I'm going to lose some, someone because it, if my Jasmine has full health, then his, his Infernal will take out my Blake. If my Jasmine gets hit like she just did, then yeah, he can take out the Jasmine or the, the Blake. Um, but I get rid of that Chimera. It's, it's worth getting rid, rid of his allies to establish that board control now that I've got Raven out and I think he's running a more, more ally-heavy deck. I want to keep board control, keep his allies low so that Raven can start hitting the guys that come out um, and, and kind of keep that lead for me. I do go ahead and let my, my Jasmine take a hit in order to, to make sure that, that I take, take out his guy and I'm going to lose the guy next turn anyway. He does play a captured prey on my Raven, so she, she's not going to help me keep, keep that board control which is a bummer and then he does, does take out the Jasmine so um, obviously she, she's a better one to, to take out because even though she does the same damage as Blake she has two health instead of one 
stun and she can't uh, stun anybody. So I drop out a wise here and I draw a card with it and, and go, go ahead and hit it this hero for one. And, um, um, it, it's generally really good to attack with Wizen once or twice. You don't want to wear it out obviously because you're using it to draw with. But but it's generally good to, to attack with once or twice because um, if they shriek it away then, and you didn't ever attack with it, it didn't do any damage. You can you can generally get away with lessening its durability a little bit. And there, there he does shriek it. Um, so, well, you know, I, I was able to get one ping off his hero on it. Um, I don't really mind the shriek because I didn't have a lot of uh, a lot else to do last turn. Kind of let me play a card and draw one. It was it was a pretty neutral uh, uh, exchange for me. It, it burned a shriek for him and burned a resource, so it, it worked out okay. Um, and here I draw up a, a Jasmine and, and an Alden. And, um, um, he's got a Plasma out. out and, and Plasma on board is a pain. Now is where I go, go oh, okay, I need, need to find a um, um, a, a tidal wave quickly, because as, as you see, that Plasma goes and, and kills one guy, and, and then he's going to attack Jasmine with his hero to knock her down to three. Uh, of course, I'm going to get to hit him back for two. Um, might have attacked with the Infernal. Uh, that's, that's a close call. Uh, um, but, but he wants to keep his Infernal, uh, I guess, high, higher health. Um, so, and then he finishes her off with the Plasma, and then the Infernal gets to his first damage to my hero. So now I'm like, like okay, um, I'm obviously last turn I, I tossed out a, a, a Alden and a Jasmine and both died on his turn. And he did damage to my hero. So um, him having that plasma out is no, no good for me. No good. I, you've got to find. I've, I've got four title waves. I haven't sacrificed any at this point. Uh, um, and, and we got a bizarre on table, so I, I should, should hopefully be able to find a title wave pretty quickly. But but I do not. Um, um, oh, I guess, guess I do. I lied. I didn't remember this game as well as I thought. Um, um, it was 
played, uh, uh, I don't know, three or four, five days ago, I don't know, uh, uh, a few days ago. So, so um, I do find a tidal wave, if that's exactly what I needed, um, and then I, I, I have seven resources, so I'm able to play that, that plus then uh, uh, a little poo in afterwards in case he drops someone out. Um, and he does drop out a Keldor in Infernal. Uh, um, try and do it uh, once again, establish that board control. And, and he pings at my hero with his what big piece. Um, so he is running what big piece, but he's also running allies. Um, what big piece is, is pretty good for a little, little ping card, especially when he can take half damage back. Um, and I do use my hero's ability to heal up the damage that he's done to me so far. And I play King's Pride, which is going to buff up my Poo, which will help it kill Keldor in one hit. Um, and that's nice because, again, and keeping his ally count down is important. His turn. We are both. Uh, I guess he's getting kind of low on cards. He's at ten, and I'm at uh, uh, twenty. And he gets a speed strikeout, which is going to let him do some damage. Um, um, he's going to hit my poop. Who will retaliate for two, and, and he'll hit my opponent again. Who will retaliate for two, but then he'll be able to finish him off here with, with the, the infernal, and, and uh, that's, that's real, real good for him. Because he, he doesn't want me having any allies on board when, when I got that King's Pride out because, because they're all, all, all such good strengths. Actually, uh, uh, I just talked about this in my last commentary. I recorded commentary 10. Once it was a, a uh, Boars versus Zaladar deck. And once a Boris player got out to the King's Pride and got out some allies, it was just, they were unstoppable. Um, they just have such high health, they can take out anything that comes out and, and, and just completely dominate the board. Um, so I do get a raven out here um, and, and and a wise staff and, and and I use a wise staff to hit his, his chimera for one and you will see why in a minute um, it does take a hit off my wasn't stuff, obviously, and it takes one point of durability off my king's pride, which is bad. But, but, here's the key thing. Now, his chimera is at, at um, four health instead of five. 
what will happen if he pumps it up, it'll take away three, three health. He'll pump it up to be a five attack. Um, um, and he will, will be able to kill my raven, because she's a, a seven right now, but between the chimera and the, the infernal, and his hero's attack that can ping for two, um, he will be able to kill that raven by pumping up the chimera. If he doesn't pump up the chimera, then my raven stays alive. Perfect. Great. If raven's alive, I'm not worried at all. So he's going to have to kill that raven in order to get board control, in order to keep board control, that is. Which means he's going to have to pump up the chimera. The chimera, when pumped, becomes a 5-2. I just pinged him for one right Right here means he'll be a 5-1, meaning I can kill him next turn with the um, with my, my wife present staff. So, so think, thinking ahead to okay, uh, I, I'm like three steps ahead here going, okay, he has to pump his camera, and there he just did. He, he has to pump his camera so that he can kill the raven, because if he doesn't pump his camera, he, he can't kill the raven. So he's going to have to pump it to kill the raven, which means it'll be a 5-2, five, five which means if I hit him right now, now when he's a Two five, he'll be two four. That means next turn he'll be a five one, one meaning I can attack and kill him. So thinking ahead like that, and and, and his hero, oh, he's been pinging away at my allies with this hero. But the problem with this is his hero has been taking massive damage. He's down to only seven health, but he does that. that does let the Chimera finish off my Raven after he pings it for two. I might have let, let the Infernal take the hit there instead of his hero twice. Um, that took. My raven was a five, cut in half, rounded up. He took six damage on on his hero there. It might have been worth to have the infernal killed, but he still does want that board control. Um, he's got a plasma out. But I throw out an Aeon who is, is uh, again in pumped by King's Pride and a Jasmine. And I figure, yeah, that Plasma is really, really bad for me. And now's where I'm digging for another tidal wave, but of course I can't find it. But because I was thinking ahead, it let me kill off that Chimera which is down to one health with, with my wizen. So all he has is a plasma and an infernal. And um, and he does shriek away my king's pride, which is huge. Like, like I said uh, when I was talking about the King's Pride in that last commentary. If, if the, the opponent doesn't have a way to deal with that, that like shriek, it can just be really tough for them. Um, so, so he uses Plasma's ability on my, my 
Aeon and then hits Aeon. Uh, and he's again takes a retaliatory attack, so he's down to five, um, um, which is rough, but that puts my Aeon at three, so that the plasma can kill it. And he's not going to be able to kill the Jasmine because he only has three damage left. He can do two from Infernal and one from the last speed strike attack. So he does go ahead and, and um, attack my hero, which will all also kill my wife because now it has attacked four, four total times and, and it'll hit my hero again. So I'm back down to 23 of my 26. That just means I'll get to use her ability again and heal up. Yay! Um, I do have, have finally have a jazz on board, and I need, need some way to get rid of that plasma. So I'm digging for, I think, all of my tidal waves are in my final, like, ten, 10 cards here, except for that one I already played. I think the other three are all in there. I'm trying to get that, so I can just wipe the board again and play some more, more allies because if we look at his um, um, and I do go ahead and hit his hero uh, uh, and hit it down to the three here and the reason why I go ahead and ignore those guys is because his hero is so low um, I want to do some damage and, and, and see if I can just knock it out, out. And if I can title wave his guys to do, that'd be great. Um, so, oh, and apparently I do. Oh, that's why I hit his hero too. Is, is uh, I hit his hero first, and, and then I title wave. I think uh, I just drew it this turn with white presence. Um, otherwise, I would have played Tidal Wave and then a guy, but, but I had to play Wizen's draw, and then and there was the Tidal Wave, which was nice. And I do go ahead and hit, hit his hero with my Wizen's, that knocks him down to two, which, unless he wears out my or uh, shrieks it or something means he has two turns until the Wizens kill him. And, and uh, um, we're getting low on cards here. He's at four, I'm at ten, and he does play an another plasma, and he does shriek my wizens to help protect his hero, so that that doesn't ping him to death, and, and he hits me, me twice more with, with his what big teeth. Um, He has board control again in with that plasma, but I'm not too worried because I still have two tidal waves left, and he is rapidly running out of cards. Um, he's only at seven total between hand and deck, and 
and uh, and once he's, he's below the seven number, he's going to start taking draw damage. And, and and I do go ahead and play my third tidal wave to clear off that plasma, and and I still have five resources left because we're pretty late, late game. So that's going to let, let me drop out an Alden. Which, if, if he can't, can't deal with, we'll kill him next, next turn. Um, um, so let's see what he does. He plays the Chimera and, and he plays now your mind and he does kill that all golden. So um, um he is able to deal with that keep him alive for another turn turn. And paying my hero twice more with with his what big teeth and, and speed strike. Um, um, so, so uh, uh, we're we're getting down to the end of the game game here. Uh, but again, not super worried. I still have one title wave left as an emergency trigger, and, and um, I'm going to go ahead and pile out a couple allies here. I do finally get, get a destroy arms. I think I had stacked a earlier because they just weren't that important so what Big Teeth wasn't doing a ton of damage and, and I think I sacked I finally get a, a curse here too which doesn't do a whole lot but um, um, what the heck and play healing, healing touch because I have extra resources, and why not? Um, I think I had sacked like two um, um, two uh, uh, destroy arms like super early on because he had a few allies and stuff and I decided I didn't really need him. He was clearly he wasn't going to have the lone wolf or whatever and so I was like I don't really need to. So I did, did sack a couple of those early on and then it ended up where he, he was pinging me for for a few with twelve big teeth, but um, he now, now just drew, drew his last few cards, and, and he does uh, pump up his chimera, which is only a four-two now because of that curse is out, and he gets my guy down to twenty using his what big teeth and speed strike but he's down, down to no, no cards in deck and we have to draw two, two with bizarre and he only has two life so on my turn I think I drew an ally or two but um, um, it doesn't matter I went 
went ahead and just ended the game and draw damage kills him does the last two damage so uh, GG I do end up winning that first game of the round of 16 in the Titan tournament and Let's go ahead and go on to game number two.